All right, y'all, I am up here in Hobby Town in Beaufort, Georgia. I'll put a link below in the description. You guys kind of know where they're at, but they have the new Traxxas Rustler uh, BL2 or 2S and then also the Slash as well. So we're going to do a quick demonstration run of these vehicles um, up here as well. But I wanted to show you these vehicles up close real quick. Now, this Rustler kind of resembles the current 3S Rustler, except for it does have a different system and stuff in there. And I'll look at this more in depth at some point in time, but you guys know it does have the heavy duty stuff on it. But you see, they did color that blue on this one, and then they did the same thing on the slash 4x4. So these are going to run you 329, I believe it is. And I think with tax, it's probably going to be close to about 340 or 343 or so. And then that's going to be a look at the slash with this one. So to get this body off, there's actually clips up underneath it on the front and then also on the rear. And then you can actually pull the body off. So let me get this off real quick. All right, so there this one is with the body completely off of it. You guys know they both have the same system up in there. And these platforms, as far as the layout, should look pretty familiar. Of course, this looks like the Rustler, and this looks like the Slash, except for this one right here actually has kind of the same mount that they used on the um, Raptor R, where it uses the body clips in the front and then also in the rear, and kind of on the uh, Sledge, too, as well. I was thinking about what the car that was. So we're going to actually test one of these out. So we're going to go any mini, mighty mo. Which car are we going to let go? This one. We'll probably go ahead and do a test run of the slash. I know you guys probably want to see this uh, test run real quick. So we'll take this out in the parking lot and give it a test run. And we'll be right back. But I think that um, if anything, they probably should have put threaded body shocks on these. But they did do the updated shock caps, as you guys see there. So you don't have to worry about those popping off kind of like they did in some of the previous models too and of course they have a center diff and then I, this got all kinds of different upgrades you can do for it so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to get this one uh put a battery in there because we do have a traxxas battery right here we'll go ahead and put this in here and we'll give this a quick test run just so you guys can see this run all right, y'all, we are going to try this out for a quick demo. He let me take this out here and run it. So I'm curious of the speed of it now. I got to let some of these cars and stuff come by because, uh, you know, they go a little crazy up here. But I try to be a little bit cautious of my stuff that I run. Uh, somebody's getting out this car, so we'll let them get out real quick. And we'll see how this goes. Definitely, uh... To me, it seems faster than the brush model. It's been a while since I've driven a, I guess, a high center gravity slash, but it seems like it goes pretty good, y'all. Now, it doesn't have a TQI radio. It does have a TQ radio. So, it does not have the TSM on it, but you can always add that in if you want. Won't be doing no major jumps or anything like that, but that's actually going pretty good though. Now you guys know this does also have training mode too. So if it's too fast out the box, I'm pretty sure this speed controller is like their other speed controllers where you can cut the percentage of power down about halfway. That's not bad at all though. Now, some people are saying, why not just get a, a Slash VXL 3S? Well, you got to understand that that one does not come with the heavy-duty components on it. So that's going to cost you about another $100 plus. Dollars. So now you're you're looking at, I don't know, $399 plus all that. About another $124, I think it is. So be your discretion on it, but I'm pretty sure they'll have a class coming up with this pretty soon. 2S brushless only got a couple cars coming by here real quick so i'm gonna let them go by and we're gonna take this up and down the street one more time oh nope they all turn except for this black car see i ain't brave like the people up in here they'll race cars and do all kinds of stuff but that's actually going pretty good so this is just a test run of this. I definitely want to try to get this out and get this running. So they have them at Hobby Town, Buford, Georgia. You guys see that over there. You guys know where this is at. Uh, if you guys want to check these out, and they'll actually run them for you so you guys can see them run. Come up here, and I'm going to see if I can uh, sneak away. 
and get this and do some test runs with it, test it off road, take it to the skate park and show you guys actually how durable this vehicle is going to be. Because I'm pretty sure going on twist it'll be pretty doable and we'll get some speed tests going too. And I'll probably end up putting one of my SMC light bulbs up in there. But you guys come up here, give them a visit, uh, check these vehicles out. Don't forget to like, subscribe and stay tuned for the next video. Appreciate you guys watching.